Wizards, let's continue to look at compound and complex sentences. A compound sentence has at least two independent clauses which are joined by a coordinating conjunction. Independent or main clause can stand on their own. Coordinating conjunctions such as and or but join two clauses or equal value. Example, she found a gold chain but she was too scared to keep it. Complex sentences contain one main clause and one or more dependent clause. They must therefore have at least two infinite verbs in the sentence, one for each clause. Example, the girls who compiled the questionnaire were very pleased with the results on their survey. Now let's continue to look at hyphens, abbreviations, initialism, acronyms, clipped and trunked words. Hyphens are used to create compound words, the ultra-detailed form for pronunciation, or at the end of a column when the word continues on the next line. Abbreviations are shortened forms of words or phrases, example, ESP for especially. Initialism is an abbreviation consisting of initial letters pronounced separately. Example, SABC stands for South African Broadcasting Corporation. An acronym is a word formed from the first letter of other words. Example, LASM is the acronym from Light Amplification by Stimulate Emission of Radiation. Clipped words are words where letters or syllables are clipped from words uttered. Example, how amazed, that's extraordinary. Trunted words are shortened words. For example, ETC stands for etc.